Welcome into Old Mountain Bricks. Today we're going to be taking a look at set number 75378 containing 221 pieces, the Bark Speeder Escape. This was released in May of 2024 and features the First Order 66 set we get featuring Killer and Beck from The Mandalorian and Grogu and a few 501st Troopers. As we cut into the box, we can see it is kind of the same shape as the recent battle packs we've been getting, so I guess you could army build with this if you really wanted to. It does contain three numbered bags, a small sticker sheet, and the instruction manual. Let's open it up. Here is a quick time-lapse speed build of the build process itself. It was pretty easy to put together. It is an 8 plus set, but overall I enjoyed the experience. Nothing too crazy technique wise. It does give you motorcycle and sidecar vibes. Of course, you'd build the minifigures throughout. Those remind me of another LEGO Star Wars set I've done recently here on the channel, which I'll go over in just a minute. But overall, this was a fun set, of course, with the famous lamppost, and we'll go over a detailed review in just a moment. Okay, and here is the Bark Speeder Escape. Uh, you can see it has the main build and the minifigures that come with the set. We'll take a look at those first. The first one we have over to the side here is we do have Kilrin Beck and then two 501st Troopers with helmet holes and Baby Grogu slash Baby Yoda slash the child there with his little bassinet type prawn or whatever it's called there. But definitely some good looking figures. Obviously the main attraction is... Ahmed Best here is the real person that plays this character. He was also Jar Jar Binks, so he got a lot of hate back in the day, but he's kind of circled back around. This scene is from the latest Mandalorian season where he kind of rescues baby Grogu there, and it's great to see him in minifigure form. You can see kind of some shiny gold on there, kind of like his printed robes that look really nice. And I think just a great looking minifigure. I think it kind of captures them, and it's great to just see him celebrated in Star Wars again. Nothing too special with the 501st Troopers, like I said. Just got the regular face that they've had for a little while now. And this is kind of similar to other ones that he's had. It does come with a clear piece you can put underneath it if you wanted to, to have it float a little bit. But he's mostly going to live inside the actual Bark Speeder. Next is the Bark Speeder itself. This is not the first Bark Speeder we've had. We've had kind of a similar one in the past, where that could kind of swing open as kind of like a traditional sidecar motorcycle build, which is kind of what this is meant to be. It does have the stud shooters, of course. A few sticker detailings, which I think actually do look pretty okay on the set. They don't take away from it. It doesn't really match the white very well, but you can see the two right there and then over on the sidecar. I recently did Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, and that was kind of a similar color scheme and kind of style, and I kind of feel that in this as well. Oh, and one more sticker up on top there that blends in quite nice, so good job on that one. I like the use of like the ski pieces. I think that looks really good. Of course, this can kind of bend down, so it'll kind of even it out there a little bit. The other thing you can kind of see, it's got a weird curve to it, kind of right in the middle where those gray pieces are, so it doesn't sit completely flat. That's just what happened when you use those connection pieces like this here, so it can kind of hinge into spot. Um, it is meant to be you know, straight up and down, but you can see it's got a little bit of an angle to it. But that's okay, I don't mind. On the bottom, we've got the clear pieces to have it slide right along the table for some good play. But otherwise, the main star of the show, of course, is this lamppost. You know, a lot of folks were complaining, you know, why add in all these pieces when they could have given us something else, whether that was another minifigure or just made the set less expensive, which, hey, I'm all for that. But, you know, it's part of the Jedi Temple. It's the first time we've actually got anything from a Jedi Temple type thing that I believe. Uh, let me know if I'm wrong there. But overall, you know, it's kind of fun. It is what it is. It just sits off to the side, you know, when you put this on display or something. I mean, it doesn't really do a whole lot. But it does kind of set the scene for this to fly away and have that back in the background and all, everything. The cape does fit as well so no issues there but you see his lightsabers do fit in there if you wanted to like so you could probably remove them kind of stick them right there but overall nice looking set i think i'm gonna leave it like that probably for display purposes just because it's cool with him having both the lightsabers from that scene but overall final thoughts on the set i think it was a great build it's 221 pieces so 
you kind of get in what you get. I really wanted it, you know, for the minifigure, as LEGO knows that we do. Uh, nothing too crazy with the lamp post and the 501st Troopers. They are what they are. I think it's a good one to add for the LEGO Star Wars collection. There's no other way he would have been made otherwise as a minifigure, and that's the kind of stuff we need. Not the five or six hundred plus dollar sets, but just things like this to give us scenes from the movies or the TV shows that we all want to see, uh, including minifigures we don't get very often, if at all. We've got, you know, thousands of Obi-Wans, thousands of Anakins, but give us something like this that's kind of just a little bit more unique, and that's really fun. That's what made me actually want to pick this up, was actually the uniqueness of this particular set. But I think that will do it for today. So if you did enjoy this video or found it helpful in any way, make sure you leave a like as it does help the channel out, helps us grow. Um, and leave a comment down below what you think of the Bark Speeder Scape. Is it too much? Is the lamppost not enough for you there? So until next time, thanks for coming by Old Mountain Bricks today. Have a good one.